we're going to give you a quick tour. This is our laboratory. We do not do any porcelain ceramics, etc. here. We have Janet, wherever she is. There's Janet. Janet is our technician back here in the laboratory. She's been with us for how many years, Janet? Going on 20. 20 years. In a very busy group practice, there's a lot of movement of cases. If you turn around, you can see how many cases are going through. So 30 years ago, we set this up and it's worked ever since. So later today, afterwards, we're going to show you a technique. I'm going to have two of our assistants making provisionals and how we make our provisionals here in the office. What you want to gather for today is try to pick up ideas that you can bring home when you start your own practices that can save you time and energy. We have three yeah. staff members on the front line. Two are greeting and phones. Third one is overflow phones, plus you'll do scanning and any other things, calling patients for appointments that are missed, etc. Okay? So these three are the main people that are that have to be very open it's almost like a hotel when you come in this is not like a normal dental office they're like concierges they welcome people we try to get a different feel our administrator the person who really handles and watches the flow of the office manages that um, and we'll talk about that position in the back here these are old charts we have a bookkeeper back here and a typist so all of our communications when I dictate letters happen here earlier part of today in our office attending a practice management workshop we have Laura, who's our financial person. She's handling financials and insurance. Everyone has a specific position and a duty. Here, the administrator is able to look, see, and deal with all issues. This is the console rooms. The key concept in any office, you need a private space for patients, a private space to discuss plans, a private space to work finances as needed, etc. This is the heart of the practice. This is where we we'll present our cases, okay? Uh, small cases, you know, we can do it up at the front. Anything larger, we'll do it here. We'll talk about how we do it. So every office should have a private area where you can work with patients, private time. The general practice, Dr. Lisa and her associate will practice down there. Each doctor always has two rooms. So Dr. Immersion is those two there. The next room is a hygiene room. This is an associate doctor room a hygiene room. All my surgeries are done in this room. I'll go back and forth here. We separate. The reason Dr. Immersion and I have been able to survive marriage and a relationship and the business is I keep her on that side and I sit here. Okay. When you came in here and you walked in, hopefully you felt something different than you would feel in most dental offices. Most dental offices, when I is a small thing. This is open. This is a desk like a hotel, like a concierge. So, and this is like a living room. What excites me about dentistry is the system, is the people around me, are the things that my staff bring to the table and do and help.